What is going on guys? Me Ancient and I are headed up into the mountains. We're gonna do a little fishing. Does this look good or what? So what we're doing guys is we are going fishing at the beautiful Lake Cascade. It is June, gorgeous time to be out here. Uh, we are fishing from our Hobie kayaks. I have the old uh, Hobie Mirage Outback and then he has a um, Pro Angler 12. So we're gonna launch our kayaks and let's get fishing. Here we go. Man, it is a gorgeous day out. I love this kind of thing. What are you going for first, Pop? I'm going to throw the Yuzuri spook around the corner here. There's a lot of junk in the water here, and, and I tried it from the shore, and it was catching up on all the grass and stuff. So, hoping around the corner there's a cove where a creek comes in, it'll be a little clearer, and my Yuzuri won't get, uh, the spook won't get all caught up in the grass. So, uh, maybe I can pull it across the top, try some top water. And then for me today, I'm actually going to target more perch at first, because perch is going to be our dinner. So, I have this nice little, uh, this is a Dry Creek Outfitters tube. I like it because the water is quite clear today. You can't notice it at the moment, but there's probably like five or six feet of visibility. So I have this little tube on a jig head. And go for some perch. perch. Got a perch? Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I paused it and I saw it coming up. I paused. Nice. My dad caught a perch on a crankbait. It's funny because here's the bait I used. A perch colored, a perch colored Rapala Shad Wrap, guys. Okay. Oh no, no, don't you Oh, he's there. going down in there. There we go. <laughs> nice. The, guys, this is so classic at this place. We always catch perch on perch colored crankbaits. There you go. So, do we want to. Uh, uh, let's see mm, if we get a little bigger one, or should yeah. we keep him just in case? Let's we keep him it. just in case, because when we. Ice, that's the classic. Or do you want to put him on the stringer? Um. Yeah, that's eatable. It is. It's eatable. not a big Definitely one. Yeah, let's yeah. let's keep him just in okay. case. So, guys, when we first got here, there were some guys that said, "Oh, it's really tough." So we're both a little bit nervous. Um, oh, go. oh, you put them right in the food. Throw them in the food. Throw them in the food. Let me get them out of the food bag. Because we just killed the perch. Put him on ice. That's nerves. Nice shot, pumps. Sweet. All right, we got dinner. Let's throw that bank. Looks too good. I'm just gonna pull the top water. Even though it's the middle of the day, I got a little popper on. Let's see if we get one on a popper. Since my dad has, um, he caught one on a Sartreus whirly bee, caught a perch, I am going to switch to this little, this is just a little, uh, I think it's a Berkeley drop shot fluke. It looks kind of like a perch, has some orange flakes and stuff in there. And uh, it's on just on a basic drop shot rig. So we're gonna drop this down, see if we can get some perch that way. Guys, could not get anything on this little fluke. I had them messing with it, but they wouldn't commit. So when the going gets tough, tough, use night crawlers. There we go, just a little piece of worm on a drop shot rig. This should get a perch in no time. Got it. It's a perch. Mm. Mmm, a little tiny perch. I don't know guys, pretty small. Use them for, uh, for bass bait, but I don't think we're gonna eat this one. Make a fire. Got one. <laughs> oh man, oh man. I, I want to use it for bait, actually. Got one. Got another one. Hmm. Boy. Guys, take it from someone who knows about fishing. If you want to really, really turn things on, 
use night crawlers. Oh, missed him. He was a monster too. Should have seen it. I saw it. You saw that bite? Oh, no. Oh, come on. Pops, you got to get on this night crawler bite. I think I'll leave that to you. We're catfishing later. You'd... Yeah, I know. I'd keep some of these for catfish. Oh, you see that bite there? Yep. Show got him. Boss, I see. Well, maybe mm. it's time for us to move on. <laughs> got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm done. I'm done for the day. All right, that, uh... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go cook up some perch. So another storm has chased us off again. You can see it's big, it's coming. Uh, it rained a little bit. And so what we're gonna do is we actually got off the water, got our kayaks off the water. And then we are going to, we are under this nice pavilion and we are going to cook up some fish. But first, I have to fillet the fish. And I am going to make up a batch of chili. Homemade chili. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda have to do this quickly before the rain comes. A couple of nice perch. Just a little quick tip for you guys. If you're, um, uh, when you're doing perch, see all those spines? They got spines all over. They got spines on their uh, gill plate spines up top and uh, so just an easy uh, way that'll make it where you make it faster and you don't hurt your hands is just to hold them with a cloth while you're cleaning them all right guys we got a couple of <laughs> finished perch nothing too big I hope you're hungry Ooh, you've got <laughs> get get a little, fish. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to eat all that. I don't know. But what I did is I took my homemade chili oh, yeah, and just poured chili. it in this uh, thing I found. The Great Value Can? Yeah. <laughs> so it should be ready to Heated eat. Heat it up in the Great soon. Value Can sounds yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. All right, now we're going to get to cooking the fish now that our homemade chili is done. All right, so we'll start with this the good size perch and we'll. Uh, Put them in there. That's a pan size right there. Got a little uh, Cajun on the fish. Cajun and salt. Salt, Cajun and butter is all I've been doing lately, especially when we make fish sandwiches, which is what we're gonna do today. And then since it's kind of stormy outside, I'm just gonna put on the lid and let that cook. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't that hot? Yeah, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't too hot. There we go. Oh man, guys, that looks amazing. Pops, you wanna get that plate up close? Oops, oops, oops. There we go. What my dad is gonna do is he is going to pick this little puppy apart and we're gonna make a fish sandwich out of it. Or a couple fish sandwiches. All right, so we're gonna put the bread on right in that butter and Cajun, so it kind of gets that, uh, soaks up that stuff. So we got our bread that looks a little worse than, a little worse for wear, but uh, we're gonna pile that up with fish. Now we'll add some mayonnaise to the fish. You know what? I forgot something. I'm here sitting here putting on mayonnaise. My dad brought tartar sauce. I'm actually going to put some tartar sauce on there. Then a sprinkling of lettuce, pickle, and instead of tomato this time, I uh, we actually brought tomatoes, but I don't have any knife to slice them up with, and I'm definitely not going to use the fillet knife to slice up any tomatoes. That's a little cross contamination there, but man, that looks really good. Put that right on top there. Oh man. All right, I have mine and then my dad. I already had one. He so. had one already <laughs> while I was cooking. All um, right. 
Uh, nothing better than a fish sandwich at 4,760 feet above sea level. Which is what this lake is at? That's right. Wow. I'm oh, hungry. Hunger is the best sauce. It is good. And fish. that's really good. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is the first time using the thin bread. Yep. I think I'm going to do that from now on. Because that really annoys me. <laughs> when you go to really nice restaurants, order the fish sandwich. The fish is really good. All the stuff on it's really good. But then you have this like giant piece of bread and like all you taste is bread. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for hanging out and thank you pups. And great time. We'll see you guys in the next one.